Today we're going to download an app called Goose Chase on your phone or your Android. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store and you're going to type in under the search Goose Chase. It's all one word, no spaces. And you're looking for the little icon that is orange with little goose feet in it. Go ahead and download that app. It is free. And when you get to the prompt about making a username and password or being a guest, go ahead and click as a guest. And then you'll get to a screen like this where it asks you to join a game. You will be given a code for the game. We'll type it in this box here. And it is not case sensitive. And I'll hit submit. So this is the game that I've been entered in and it says to select a team and join the game. So I'm going to select a team and you will be given a team whether it's a letter or a color and you're going to be working with more than one person. I'm going to click select the blue team. You will be given a specific team to choose. You can't just choose whichever one you want. And it's going to ask you for an access code for your team. These access codes are only good for a particular team. So I'm going to enter my access code. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm ready to begin. So once I have started the game, you can refresh the game. And I'm going to have to refresh. If you need to refresh a couple of times, that's OK. So this is a list of items that I'm going to be looking for in my hunt. And remember, I'm on a team. And each one has a different amount of points to the right. So some are worth more points, some are worth less. Some are photos, some are videos. So be careful to look at which kind are which. So I could go and find these things. So I have on the top, I have remaining on the list. I also have things that are completed. So if I take a picture, it's going to go in the completed section. If it hasn't been done by anyone yet, then it goes in the other section. I'm going to get out of this game and show you what it looks like when you are actually in a game with someone else. So I'm going to go back home. This is a game I played earlier today with a group of three other people. This is the list of things on that are missions that we have not yet completed. And here is a list of all the things with green check marks that we have completed on our missions. Things that you can do at the bottom of your uh, phone is look at the feeds. This is pictures submitted and videos submitted by everybody who's playing, no matter what team they're on. I can go to rankings in the middle and tell which team has the most points at this current time. I can go to notifications if a uh, message has been sent from the person who's in charge. And I can go to the end where it says my team and I can see the pictures that were taken of everybody that's on my team only. So back to missions. Like I said, these are all the things that have been completed because they have green check marks. And this is the stuff that's ready, ready to be taken. So if I want to actually be a participant and I want to take a picture of a fake plant, I click on the little icon. It says snap for evidence and it'll ask for permission to use your phone camera. You hit yes. I'm going to click on snap evidence. I'm going to take a picture of our fake plant. And then I'm going to submit my evidence. And this game has been ended, but you hit OK and it would add it to the list. So that's how you would take uh, pictures and add it to the missions list.